race the final frontier no matter what channel you watch no matter what feed you aggregate it seems like everybody everywhere is talking about race right now and when everybody everywhere is talking about race that means sooner or later you're gonna have to tell somebody that they said something that sounded racist so you need to be ready and have a plan in place for how to approach the inevitable that sounded racist conversation and I'm going to tell you how to do that the most important thing that you've got to do is remember the difference between the what they did conversation and the what they are conversation those are two totally different conversations and you need to make sure that you pick the right one. The what they did conversation focuses strictly on the person's words and actions and explaining why what they did and what they said was unacceptable. This is also known as the that thing you said was racist conversation and that's the conversation that you want to have. The what they are conversation on the other hand takes things one step further and uses what they did and what they said to draw conclusions about what kind of person they are. This is also known as the I think you are a racist conversation. This is the conversation you don't want to have because that conversation takes us away from the facts of what they did and the speculation about their motives and intentions and those are things you can only guess at, you can't ever prove and that makes it way too easy for them to derail your whole argument. And that is the part that's crucial to understand. When you say I think he's a racist, that's not a bad move because you might be wrong. That's a bad move because you might be right. Because if that dude really is racist, you want to make sure you hold him accountable and don't let him off easy. And even though intuitively it feels feels like the hardest way to hit him is just run up on him and say I think your ass is racist. When you handle it that way, you're actually letting him off easy because you're setting up a conversation that's way too simple for him to derail and duck out of. Just think about how this plays out every time a politician or a celebrity gets caught out there. It always starts out as a what they did conversation, but as soon as the celebrity and their defenders get on camera, they start doing judo flips and switching it into a what they are conversation. I have known this person for years and I know for a fact that they are not a racist and how dare you claim to know what's inside their soul just because they made one little joke about watermelon tap dancing and going back to Africa. And then you try and explain that we don't need to see inside their soul to know that they shouldn't have said all that about the watermelon. And you try to focus on the facts of the situation, but by then it's too late because the what they are conversation is a rhetorical Bermuda Triangle where everything drowns in a sea of empty posturing until somebody just blames it all on hip hop and we forget the whole thing ever happens. Don't let this happen to you. When somebody picks my pocket, I'm not gonna be chasing them down so I can figure out whether he feels like he's a thief deep down in his heart. I'm gonna be chasing him down so I can get my wallet back. I don't care what he is, but I need to hold him accountable for what he did. And that's how we need to approach these conversations about race. Treat them like they took your wallet and focus on the part that matters. Holding each person accountable for the impact of their words and actions. I don't care what you are. I care about what you did.